So this video is about acids, bases, and the pH scale. We're only going to get into this in, in a very cursory manner. You'll spend a lot of time on this once you hit chemistry, but there are some concepts that you have to understand about these things in biology in order for us to talk about some concepts later on. So the first thing to talk about is just defining these different terms. For starters, with an acid, what we're looking at here is it's some kind of a substance that releases hydrogen ions when it's dissolved in water. So a hydrogen ion is just a charged particle. We talked about that a little bit with like the ionic bonding video. Some particles have a charge. Hydrogen ions have a plus. They've got that positive charge. So when it's dissolved in water, it's going to begin releasing these. Uh, a simple acid would be something like stomach acid. So you have this in your digestive system all the time. It's releasing these hydrogen ions. It actually helps to begin breaking down your food and that, uh, that entire process of digestion. Now, bases are a little bit different. When they're dissolved in water, they're going to release what's called a hydroxide ion. This is oxygen and hydrogen bonded together, and it's negative. So uh, an example of something like this would be soap. Like if you have soap water or dish soap, you know that's going to be something that's a base. It's going to begin releasing those hydroxide ions when that's introduced into water. Uh, just to give you the spelling on that, hydroxide... And then if we get the, the red color back on the other side, we had um, the hydrogen ions over here. Now, pH is just a scale that's used to measure how acidic or how basic something is. So we'll get this writing out of our way for now. Get our pH scale up here. If we're looking at this one, the way the pH scale breaks down is in the middle we actually have things that are neutral. So the pH scale, pH scale kind of starts at 7 and then moves in either direction from there. So if you're moving up from 7, these are things that are more basic on this side. So we'll add that one on here. So basic would be 8 on up to 14, and then this is the acid side of our scale, you know, from 6 all the way down to 0. So if we're looking at seven, these are substances like pure water. Uh, it has milk listed here. Human saliva is close. Human saliva and blood are around seven. They're usually around like 7.4, so they are slightly basic. Uh, that's the other thing I should mention. Not everything is a whole number all the time. It says up here these are approximate pH numbers. Um, things like milk, saliva, and blood are all going to be probably skewed a little bit to the basic side. You know, the general thing with blood is, is again, about 7.4, so somewhere in there. Uh, but to give you an idea of some weak acids, the weak acids are actually the numbers that are closer to 7, closer to neutral. So, for example, 0, our hydrochloric acid, HCl, that is extremely potent. That's going to be a very, very strong acid. Whereas something like salmon or potatoes or even normal rain, rain is slightly acidic, that's where you get that acid rain idea that you probably talked about last year in environmental science. Um, all of those things would be a weak acid, whereas something like stomach acid or hydrochloric acid, uh, that's going to be a strong acid. Keep in mind it says upset stomach acid is different than your normal stomach acid. If you have an upset stomach, the pH is generally getting too low. One way you can balance that out is if you take an antacid tablet. And acids are actually going to be weak bases. If you notice, they show up on our base scale over here. So if you were to have you know, stomach problems and you take some of those antacids, it's a base that's going to balance out some of that acid that's maybe getting a little bit too high. Uh, some examples of a strong base, something like bleach or ammonia. So these things uh, can actually be just as dangerous as a strong acid. A lot of people assume that the acids are the dangerous ones. They're actually both pretty dangerous if you're dealing with something that's far on either scale. Like, for example, you have to be just as careful with sodium hydroxide as you have to be with hydrochloric acid. And uh, certainly mixing these things can be very dangerous, mixing acids and bases together. That's one of the reasons why with cleaning products it says to like never mix them, because you could end up mixing something that ends up creating a reaction, and it could give off gases that could harm you, or it could just react violently and uh, just ca cause you, um, you know, all kinds of problems. So the uh, main thing to remember with the pH scale, and I'll write a few of these things down for you so you can keep them. For pH, 7 is neutral. 
one is going to be a very strong acid. 14 would be a strong base. And then there's also, you know, like a weak acid, so that would be somewhere like, um, you know, 5 to 6. And then something like 8 or 9 would be a weak base. So if you have that, and then you pair that up with the idea, again, going back over here, put this in the right spot, that our acids are going to give off hydrogen ions and then our bases give off hydroxide ions when they're dissolved in water. Remember, it's not all the time. It's just when they're added to water. Then you should have all of the major concepts that I'm looking for you to understand with acids, bases, and the pH scale. Again, you're going to do a lot more with this in chemistry, but for our purposes, this is good enough. Uh, make sure when you're finished here that you take some time to answer some questions after the video is over, and I'll see you guys in class.